After no NCAA tournament last year, the excitement returns and Cleveland is part of it at 7:15 tonight. 15 seed CSU will take on two seed Houston. It will be just the third time in program history that the Vikings will play in the NCAA tournament. And we can thank our latest game changer for that. He has already been named Horizon League Coach of the Year twice in his first two seasons on the job as the head basketball coach. 41-year-old Dennis Gates was hired in July of 2019. And now in March of 2021, he has us all feeling the madness. Behind the steady hand of Dennis Gates, go to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2009. Essentially, my job as a coach is to hold up a mirror and allow these young people to see the best version of themselves. It's now a reflection for all to see. And what we've seen is remarkable. Coach Dennis Gates is earning national attention for turning around a program that lost 21 or more games in five straight seasons. Underestimated from the start and with a roster of unknown players, the Vikings went on to top the Horizon League this year. When I see the looks in their faces, that's where I get my joy because I see them not only be doubted, I also see them every day behind the scenes in the shadows. Well, it's one thing to want to have that look and it's one thing to want to believe, but clearly your guys are believing. <laughs> What's your secret to get them to believe then? They're in my life forever. I'm in their life forever. And our core values talk about friendship, love, accountability, trust, discipline, unselfishness, enthusiasm, and toughness. Hey. We have the tenacity to endure whatever the climate is, whatever the terrain we are presented with, to overcome and galvanize all these core values together. And, and that's what, what we've done. Is part of that putting in a freshman that has barely played to defend an inbound pass, have a guy <laughs> take a have a guy take a three-point shot that hasn't taken one, uh, bring in a, a walk-on yeah. to spark yes. the defense? Is yes. that what you're that, that is exactly what I'm talking about. It's being prepared for the opportunity. Proving Gates isn't afraid to take chances. Another top priority is turn the team GPA from a 2.3 to a 3.3, driving on and off court success in just two years. He says his leadership is inspired by another iconic CSU coach. In fact, it's part of what drew him to the job. What a great opportunity this is to walk on the same sidelines as a John McClendon. Uh, who was the first black coach at a predominantly white institution, and it happened at Cleveland State University in 1966. What an honor that would be. What else drew him here? Cleveland's legendary sports fans. Gates says he hopes CSU's recent success has helped excite the city during a tough year. And I just hope they add us to that list of, let's go to the Browns game, let's go to the Indians, Let's go see the Cavs. Let's go see Cleveland State University. What you guys have done is incredible and the city of Cleveland thanks you and you embody what a game changer is. And I just wanna thank you for being a game changer. I appreciate you having me on, but I'll definitely say this. Fans are game changers. I share this moment with not just our team. Uh, we share it with our institution. We share it with our sports fans and our alumni and all those future students out there who's thinking about Cleveland State University. <laughs> Hey, he makes you smile, doesn't he? Gates told me the city of Cleveland is awesome and he loves it here, but how long will he stay? His base salary this year is 310 k Rumors are out there that bigger programs that can pay him more want him. I asked him about it. He said rumors come with the territory. But Maureen, I'll tell you, this guy's incredible. This is his first time as a head coach, but he was at Florida State as an assistant and part of seven NCAA tournaments, so he takes that experience in with them tonight. And he also credits his mentors. He really... He understands who helped him get to where he's at, and he's helping to get other people to where they want to go. What stood out to me the most is the fact that he made them or inspired them to raise their GPA. Yeah. Because a lot of these guys, I mean, some might make it to the NBA level, but what he's taught them is not only leadership and teamwork, but then sh showed them that they, they still need to, to work toward a different goal, too. I love that about him. Yeah, he's Amazing. getting them ready for life, no yes. doubt.